what we have here is my very inexpensive soon to be hopefully server setup we have this hp switch 2510 g48 um i got this for free because it was incredibly noisy and still is uh, with the original fans but uh, i made if i can move it a wee modification uh it brings up the fan error light uh, but it doesn't throttle the speeds and a bit of magic black tape stops the fault light uh, I use that for my high speed internet at the moment uh, below that we have this readiness 2100 uh, I picked this up for 20 pound I think I think this is the most expensive thing I've purchased uh, for this setup so far um, four one terabyte drives um, I've used it for about a year and only one of the drives uh, failed which I knew about anyway because the person said they think one of the drives is failing so I just picked a random one terabyte drive shoved it in and it seemed happy enough uh, I got this switch panel uh, I don't know why I got that I just like the look of them uh, I know it's not wired in and it's not how you meant to use them but it fills a hole uh, below that we got this Pro Curve HP 251024 switch. I got this for free as well, uh, just on Facebook Marketplace. Um, all these ports are only up to 100, and then these two are a thousand. Um, so my plan, hopefully, is to have this switch do all of my older retro stuff. Um, the top switch will be for my main internet needs, daily internet needs, and if I need high speed access. I, mean, I know that's overkill, but that's what we have. Uh, the NAS is in daily use anyway. Um, below that we have a HP Proliant DL380 Gen 8. Uh, it's fully working. It has uh, a network interface card in the back. Um, I've only got one of these little fancy door things, as you can see. Um, it's all small form factor drives. Um, I've used this as a Project Zomboid server, and it works quite well actually. It's a little bit loud. It gets a bit irritating after a while, but I mean, it's what you expect, or what I seem to know of servers, uh, which is not very much. Uh, below that is this Cooler Master case, which I plan to build uh, another NAS into, maybe um, using like True NAS. Uh, I've got a few ideas of what I'd like to stick in there. I've got plenty of components. Uh, I'd like to stick a, I've got a, a radiator that I think will fit in the front there quite nicely. And obviously we've got the hot swappable bays down there. And uh, let me just move down the bottom for a bit of you. So down here we have uh, a HP Proliant 320. I can't remember what gen it is because the bit broke off. Does it say on the tag? No. Um, I'll write that in the description. Uh, and the one below it, the Intel Xeon server. I, I, say I don't know what these are, to be honest. I, uh, I picked these up um outside of a charity shop who were basically throwing them away and getting rid of them and i said i did ask before i took them uh, and like i said you'll be doing me a favor getting rid of them um i've asked around um on a few uh, discord servers uh, and most people tend to say throw them away get rid of them they're useless they consume loads of power um if they're not worth it um but you know that made me want to keep them all to be honest um there's no drives in these um i did stick 80 gigabyte sas i think it says on uh i did stick drives in these two but these aren't hot swappable um and as you can see uh this whole unit is housed um in a jvc 
old record player cabinet. And what I currently have in here far exceeds the weight of uh, of this what this cabinet was designed for. Um, I have added uh, a strengthening bracket here, and if you look under there, the strengthening legs there. Uh, I would like to move these around, put this on the bottom and then put those two on the top with some extra brackets to hold them in place. So this is round the back, uh, obviously the switch at the top, the NAS, uh, the big main server, um, it's only got one power supply, but still seems to run happily without that. Um, we've got the interface for interface card thing. Uh, there's the back of the uh, Corsair, Cooler Master, sorry, case. Um, so there's plenty of space in that case, it's huge. Uh, but my my plan was if I had the rad in the front, then the air would be drawn towards us and through rather than out the sides. Uh, and below that, uh, the two servers, the Pentium 4 on the top and the Xeon 1 on the bottom. So it's nothing exciting, but as I say, oh, that's that's the lid to the uh, the one up there. I, I used a side panel off of an old computer just to make the fan adapter case for that. So that's that is my very cheap server rack. If I say what I'm aiming to do, and then hopefully. Uh, with you, the viewer, can help me shape my uh, dream, not a dream, my image of where I'd like to be. So this I would like to be a storage device for old uh, ISOs, um, Windows images, um, GOG offline game installers um, that I can just hook up via this switch um, which won't have internet access um, to allow me to install all the programs I need to basically on my older computers. Um, I'd like to do more with this. I think I need to get more storage for it. Um, I have tried plugging in hard drives without the adapters, but it, they work, but it gets annoyed uh, and they, they're very loose in there. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do anything with this panel at the moment. I'm going to leave that. Um, until I have a lot more wires. I currently only have uh, the outside wire, which is this one. That's the internet coming in. Um, and then I've got two that run off that way to my main computer. Uh, I do plan to hook up a power wattage meter um, to where this plugs in. This is the main plug for all of this. Um, just to see uh, how much power it actually consumes. Um, but yeah, so I would like your thoughts and opinions, please, on how I should proceed. Um, I'm going to hopefully add a little section, uh, like a map, a network map, of how I, th I think it should be done. I feel that is a good way uh, to bring collective knowledge together. And for me, sharing of knowledge is, is the best thing that anyone in the world can do. Uh, everyone knows something uh, and can teach you something that you don't know. That's, that's my motto. So, so there she is. Um, I've been thinking of maybe like a name for the whole the thing um, along the lines of stuff I have laying around. So Shura, maybe. Um, but there she is. Uh, I, I know uh, this is in no way professional and it is not meant to be. Um, but this is this whole setup has cost me less than forty pound over the space of three years. So, um, but yeah, we've got several motherboards we can fit in here. Um, we've got low power ones. We've got several brand new um, socket seven seven five motherboards up there we could use. Uh, just because, why not? I've got them. But anyway, I'm rambling now. Uh, so let me know your thoughts, uh, and then. The video series will be shaped by you and where we proceed and this will be your baby just as much as it is mine